as he once said, Viewers beware, you're in for a scare. Celebrating, right now recording, morning of Halloween. This is going to be a rank of the top 10 best Goosebump episodes of the TV series. With that said, I'll also mention what season, and you could probably find most of these episodes here on YouTube. So, take my suggestions if you've never seen, or if you have watched Goosebumps like me when you were younger. Consider this a trip down nostalgia lane. Next video, I will be recommending some classic R.L. Stein books, if you ever get a chance to read them, whether it be physical or digital, with, of course, Amazon Kindle. With that said, get some suitable, like, opera-type music, given it's Halloween after all. Honorable mentions first. The Headless Ghost from Season 2. The Girl Who Cried Monster from Season 1. Night of the Living Dummy 3, Season 2. And last honorable mention from Season 3, Perfect School. Coming in at number 10 from Season 1. This is definitely one I remember quite well. Welcome to Camp Nightmare which was a two-parter special about these people thought they were going to a normal summer camp. Let's just say they end up finding it's not exactly your traditional summer camp, to say the least. Coming in at number nine. Shocker on Shock Street from season three of Goosebumps, or as the theme for season three and four would say, Ultimate Goosebumps. Shocker on Shark Street, it's one of the guilty pleasure episodes. I will admit, it's definitely not one of probably the better quality wise of Goosebump episodes, but it's one of my personal favorite. And that's what this is, my personal favorites. Coming in at number eight from season two. Attack of the Jackal Lanterns, which is quite an interesting episode, to say the least. Coming in at number 7, from Season 1, Say Cheese and Die. And like it says, it involves a special camera, and it kind of predicts the future a twisted and demented future, and bad things usually end up happening after a picture is taken by the camera. Coming in at number six from season three, The Haunted House Game from the era of Ultimate Goosebumps. With that said, really, really good episode. I personally very much enjoy it, and it's an episode I still on occasion watch. Coming in at number 5 from season 3. It's called One Day at Horror. Which is a t another special two-parter episode. Very enjoyable. I always enjoyed this episode immensely. It's just real fun. Getting to see things from more of a monster perspective, to say the least. Coming in at number four, also from season three, we have a three-part special called Chilogy, which is awesome. This guy, and it involves this like little miniature replica town, and each episode, like one episode, one kid end up there, the next episode, another kid, and then the third episode, both of those 
go to save the boy in the previous episode to help save his younger brother. Which is very interesting, to say the least. And it's a very enjoyable get to pleasure one. So this is one that a lot of people don't usually talk about for some reason. But Chilogy is awesome. Coming in number three, from season four, and a really enjoyable two-parter called The Ghosts Next Door. Probably one of the better well-written, I think, specials of Goosebumps, personally. I thought it was one of the better done ones. And the kid actors weren't as bad as some of the other kid actors in the series of episodes have been. But overall, it's interesting, and there's a very interesting twist at the end of Part 2. Coming in at number 2. It's a special two-parter that was released as a movie at prime time. And yes, it involves zombies. But intelligent zombies, not like Resident Evil zombies, which are mindless. And that episode is called Welcome to Dead House. It was very enjoyable. And I will always enjoy that episode. With that said, let's get it ready to cut it up. With the final episode. Which is actually a tie between two. The Haunted Mask and The Haunted Mask 2. True classics. And if by chance you ever collected the physical DVD copy of Haunted Mask 2, unfortunately Haunted Mask 1 was only released physically on VHS for some reason, not DVD. But the DVD copy of Haunted Mask 2 now is going for at least $40 and up. So it's definitely become a collector's item, probably by nostalgia people. That's why it's better if you had have gotten a chance to collect all of the DVDs whenever they were first released. Like I did. But with that said, that is number one, a tie between The Haunted Mask and The Haunted Mask 2. Which predominantly revolved around, of course, a girl which gets scared quite a bit, and wants to get revenge on these bullies in part one. And then, of course, that character's name is Carly Beth. And I was actually just watching The Haunted Mask, the first part, actually just about an hour ago, surprisingly. It's kind of a tradition for me to watch both The Haunted Mask parts every Halloween. It's sort of a tradition by now. As well as watching one particular movie on Halloween every year, Stephen King's It. Though, technically, I watched it yesterday. And I am planning on doing a review of the original It movie. So stay tuned in the future for that. But I'll see you next time, and this is closing off. Hopefully I get new copyrights on the music. I may enjoy the background.